Target. What do they have in here? Maybe yeah. Chanel. We're looking for rainbow high socks. But they're not they're not like high socks, they're just rainbow high. <sighs> Descendants three? Rainbow high socks. Look at them. Imagine telling an associate you for rainbow high socks and they bring you rainbow high socks. No, rainbow high socks. Look at the nose. Yeah, well, kind of terrible. What's going on? Invest in new art, perhaps. I'm gonna put them on my feet. It's the same art that's yes. great. Yeah, please draw. New Why are your eyebrows blonde? She's she's into that trend where you bleach your eyebrows. That's weird. I think that could be cute. Yeah, Not on you though, Rainbow. Rainbow Hyatt character Ruby Anderson. These are pretty big for children's socks, right? Like those are big for me. These are big for me. It's kind of amazing. Oh, puppies are black and orange. Oh, look. Yep. Anybody. Well, it was an end cap for sure. See, my stores are so empty. Like, we haven't even gotten. Oh, you like all of are you looking for mermaids right now? No, I'm looking the for Shadow Highs are in the end cap. Well, they put more out. Oh, Chanel. 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 Rainbow High Socks or Chanel? Which one should I get, guys? Vote in the comments. <laughs> I'll only get one. One gets set on fire. I will store. only be getting one. Oh, okay. We gotta pick the best one. The problem is, guys, that the Shadow High dolls all are so good looking. Like, there's not really a whole lot of errors for me to look out for. I don't know. This one has what could be gel or could be a smear. But I think I'm gonna chant. Oh, that, that actually looks like a paint smear. But this one doesn't have as much glitter. There might be more Chanel's. Hold on. I, I just let this happen. Ash, Nicole, Ash. None of these are. Nope. Are they? Okay, so that's. I have two choices. Short No, they all come in their own box. Oh, this one. No, your eyebrows are correct. The hairline's so butchered. This one's just better in general, so I'm gonna take the chance with what might be a paint smear. I'm gonna put her in the front so the next person can be like, that doll's so pretty! Oh, and we have to see if we can find variant dress too. Hold up. Heather, nope, probably not, because it seems like the they only go to specific locations, but it's worth checking. Oh boy, no, really pretty Luna. The PR Luna that I got looks so different than this one, it's weird. Oh, the, the straps are like cut on that one. Any other Heathers? No, okay. Wow. Come on, look at the hair, look at the hair. What is that pose? <laughs> Here to prove, guys. Look, she doesn't have the error. Every single Natasha has this like blurry eyelash, except this one. I'm almost tempted to buy her just because of that. Like, she's perfect. Ooh, her eyebrows are placed differently too. Okay, I'm getting her. <sighs> Kishiko, you have to wait another day, but I will buy you. Oh, hello. I want her so bad. Mm. But no. I want this Natasha. She has the correct eyelash placement. What you find? Whoa, is that what you've been looking for? Yes, sir. Where's the other Sonics? Because we're still missing Rouge the Bat the Cat. I, Wait, was it Rouge the Cat the Bat? I think it was Rouge the Bat the Cat, actually. Should I get the Jurassic World Dominion store display? Yeah, I think yes. So. True. Just rip it off the wall. And I would do that. I would get banned from Target for life for that. Well, oh, Sonic's selling a, a specific target. It's just selling a little too well. No, they they have like LP recognition Suffer, software. Suffering from success. <laughs> yeah, but we are suffering from their, from their success, which is not. And I'm gonna get no, socks. Target. That's a target exclusive. We are literally at Target. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So where is it? Uh -huh. just it. It's weird that they did not put the mermaids dolls here. I want that display. I don't so know bad. if I've mentioned this on the channel, but we've got the Nana Nana Surprise Kitty Cat Camper, right? Amazing, and thanks to my friend Jay, I own it now, and I'm so grateful. But did you know now there's a not an surprise kitty cat campground? And yes, it is twenty dollars today on the Target website. And no, I'm not going to buy it. Why? <sighs> because this Natasha is too perfect, and I have to bring her home. <sighs> and there's also some like little camping specific dolls, but I'm not 
super into that. I like her, actually. Maybe I'll get them. I don't know. <sighs> but I'm a little bit broke. My last day at my job is where I'm getting these from. That's my money. That's where my money went. All right. Anyway. Hey, everyone. It's me, ex Canadensis, And today, finally, I managed to get Chanel Onyx from Shadow High. Interestingly enough, she's been selling out everywhere. Like, she'll show up in stock, and then I'll come up to get her, and she's just gone. She's sold out. So, very interesting. She seems to be selling quite well, and sh that made her kind of tricky to find, but I'm very happy because I was able to find her yesterday, and here she is. She's so gorgeous in person. This is my, I mean, getting her was my first time seeing her in person, and I'm so excited about it. She's so beautiful, so... This is what her box looks like. And then if we turn it around, we can see the art of the other characters. Yes, very excited about her. I feel like I picked out a good one and we'll find out when she's out of the box. I just, there's a little, I think it's hair gel that I need to get off her face, but otherwise this one looks so perfect. So let's get her out of the box. Chanel is now out of the box and she looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm very pleasantly surprised by the unboxing experience. It was actually relatively easy compared to some of the older Rainbow High dolls and almost no gel in her hair. She does have some at the bottom, which kind of makes sense because this is the way that it was packaged. And then there's some just along this line, but otherwise you can actually feel how soft and nice Kiwi Nylon actually is, which is very refreshing because a lot of Rainbow High dolls take a lot of work to get to this point. And she's so pretty. I'm also very happy to report that that smear that was on her forehead, there's actually quite a few. It's all hair gel, so it came off with some water and just a towel lightly scrubbing on it. Don't scrub too hard because you could mess with the paint, um, and you can just use soap and try that. But it came off pretty well. That gel is just so stubborn, so you can actually still see some spots, but the major one that was right here is basically gone, so good. My Heather also had a big smear across her forehead. Um, mine also has a little bit of a rough hairline, I think if you have a lot of options, really pay attention to the hairline. Mine is pretty good. Like, I don't think it's necessarily terrible, but it is off. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you're seeing something off with, like, the way that her face is shaped, it's because the hairline's a little bit uneven. But it's not something that's going to bother me at all. And oh, I just love her purple eyes. They're so interesting. And these are new earrings for Shadow High, and I think they are very nice. We're already seeing them used again in Series 4, so... I think we're going to be plagued with another earring that Rainbow High beats to death, but I mean, they look nice at least. <laughs> and then up here we have this really nice little chiffon bow and it has multiple layers and a plastic jewel faceted in the middle of the bow, which is very pretty and expensive looking. I really like it. And then her hair, it's interesting. It's in like a loose high ponytail. See what I mean? I don't know if that's just mine unintentionally being quite loose, but... I can tighten it like this, but it kind of slips out quickly. I think it's because her hair is so smooth and soft that it doesn't have like enough tooth to it, I guess, to hold the rubber band in place, but that's just my theory. I don't know. And then I'll take her hair down towards the end of this video so that we can check her rooting pattern, but I mean, it looks pretty good. And she just has a ton of black hair with some silver hair mixed in. I know it looks like a white color, but I'm pretty sure that's silver and not a paper white because especially if you compare it down here to the white on her dress it's much more of a gray but against the black it really looks just like stark white without being cartoonish though which i appreciate like and here's some paper white too and you can see that they actually do appear quite i'm different. really impressed with the color payout of all the different black colors that they used like the hair and for her skin like they don't have an a really obvious undertone like a lot of um, black crayons and black markers and stuff do this is just really really nice and clean and i think it looks absolutely beautiful and her skin just has this very subtle glitter to it it's absolutely gorgeous she just looks like she's glowing in the light it's beautiful moving down now we can look at her dress which i love so there are two options for how you can style this and fit it to your doll in the box, it comes like this, where they've used those little 
fabric tags to keep it in this kind of Maryland position almost, which I really like actually. It's really just a short dress with a, or like a crop top with a circle skirt. Just a really big circle skirt. Um, but I like it like this. I like the way it's fitting like this and I can always cut it out if I want to, but I just think this looks really good. I think it's really cute because she doesn't have like a crinoline under here, so it's not going to hold its shape as well once you cut those. And I love this. The fabric is really interesting. It feels like a chiffon to me, but I don't know 100% because it, it's definitely fraying differently from a lot of chiffon, but it's so beautiful. And it starts at black and it goes to gray all the way to white. Some of this gray has a bit of a yellow tone to it, but it's not, it's not too distracting. Like some of, the, a few Shadow High Dolls have some weird yellow tones to their um, grayscale, but this one's not very um, jarring, I guess. <laughs> and then she has these little elastic straps and this is a little belt that is separate. Sweet, it's separate from the dress, so you can take it off. So I'm actually, I'll show you what it looks like with the dress or with the belt one more time. And then we'll take it off. So this is what the belt looks like. It's just a gross grain ribbon with an, oh, and you can take the SH off if you want to. So it has this SH little hardware piece. I don't really know what to call it. And then I'm gonna put her back on the stand. This is what the dress looks like without the belt. I think I actually prefer it with the belt. It helps with the silhouette. I don't know. Cause these ones like to flip up. So the belt kind of helps keep those in place. And then her nail polish is silver and it's very pretty. And she has a tiny little bracelet. I think these are based off of like Cartier or something, but I don't know. I've just, I've seen this bracelet before in real life, I swear. Um, but it's usually gold, I think anyway. And then moving down a little more, we can look at her shoes, which, oh my God, look at her little scalloped trim socks. So cute. So these are netted socks with it's really, oh, it's so precious. I love it. And then the shoes are pretty simple. They are just these little strappy heels with a bow. And then they have that fuzz that the Slumber Party dolls have. So it's not like super soft feeling, but I feel like it's going to keep its, um, its good quality over time. Like it's not going to get messed up, which is nice. And then if you're seeing tiny little white flecks ever, it's actually this fabric fraying, which is a bit of a concern because they didn't finish these edges because that would kind of ruin the effect that the dress has, I feel like, but I'd be worried about this fraying a lot down the road. But so far, it doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue, but especially in um, more rough children's hands, I feel like that might be a problem. Anyway, now we are going to switch her to her second outfit and take her hair down so that you guys can see all that. So I'll be right back. So I have Chanel in her second outfit, but first I want to show you her rooting pattern really quickly. It's actually really, really dense, which I was expecting, except on in this kind of area because it's meant to be in a high ponytail. Um, it's a bit sparse at the front parts, but other than that, really, really consistent, nice root um, in rows. It's standard with this hairstyle. Unfortunately, so I was thinking all of the girls that don't have, don't appear to have a part line, were going to have one because of Natasha, but unfortunately, she does not have a part line hidden in here anywhere, which is a huge shame. I really was hoping that she would but she's so, so, so pretty. So pretty. This is an absolutely beautiful doll. And I, I really love her hair too. I just need to figure out a hairstyle because I don't know. I feel like she looks better with her hair down. Maybe I'll just leave it straight down. I never think of that as an option, just leaving somebody's hair alone. I also would love to see her with curly hair, I think. Anyways, let's look at her second outfit. So the second outfit does have one more piece that I will put on in just a moment for the conclusion of the video. So her top... Eh, it's kind of repetitive for Rainbow High. It's just kind of a little tank top with a bunch of studs on it. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. I think the pearls kind of don't match, maybe? Also, my flower is a bit misplaced. If that matters to you, check that before you buy your doll. But really consistent. All of the details do continue on the back, which is awesome. And then I don't really like houndstooth, but this houndstooth skirt is really cute. And I love the pleather material as the top and bottom trim and the little pockets and the studs, all very, very nice looking. And this is like a woven fabric with the houndstooth in it and it looks really, really good. Really like it. I think I wouldn't like the skirt very much, but this middle piece really helps. I think it's gorgeous. And then 
Her second outfit shoes match a lot better with the first outfit, I think, because they have the gems that a lot of the pieces from her first outfit had. I really wish the belt on this outfit had had one of these facets, but I totally could just put this around her waist. How cute would that be to put the bow right there? Um, but anyway, she has these little faceted gems on her shoes, and they actually do have little resin gems put there, which is really awesome, actually. And I love the effect of that. These are going to be some of my favorite rainbow high shoes to play around with. And they're just simple black strappy heels again and tiny little silver buckle painted on. Really, really nice shoes. Chanel has a lot of pieces that are going to be super fun for mixing and matching with other characters. God, I love this doll's face mold. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. I forgot to like show you her or like talk through her eye eyeshadow, but I guess you don't really need it because can see it it's so pretty i really love the little white eyelashes drawn on just really really beautiful anyway now i'm going to put this jacket Before we on get her. started i have one thing i want to point out to you guys please don't make fun of me because i don't know how to style a bun apparently i am 22 years old and i was watching a tutorial from a six-year-old and still couldn't figure it out yeah anyway um she has fabric elastic on her bow which i'm very pleasantly surprised by i think it looks great Again, excuse this monster of a bun. I really wanted her to have like a high sophisticated bun, but not happening. Anyway, this is what her little jacket looks like. It's not a jacket. I don't know what to call it, but it's really cute. So it's a little sleeveless piece and, you know, kind of standard for a rainbow high jacket. It's that pleather material. It's got the little fake zipper pulls in the fake, or sorry, fake zipper tracks in the zipper pull here pinned down here and here to make the collar flare out. Collar moves all the way around. You can see the material that the pleather is sitting on top of there, which makes me worry that it might flake, which is bad, but I don't know. I just hope that MGA has learned from how many Bratz pieces have been destroyed <laughs> through time, but who knows. And then the coat, or like, why did I say coat? The sleeves are darling. They're these I believe they're meant to look like roses. It's just this really nice gathered fabric in three tiers. And that's really impressive to see three tiers on such a small scale like this. And the effect is fantastic. It makes these gorgeous rosy puff sleeves really, really nice. And with that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'd love to know what you guys think of Chanel. Is she... Is she the one? Is she the favorite? I feel like she was one of the fan favorites. Don't worry, sure. Chanel. We're going to wash out your hair. We're going to get all the little um, gel marks off your face. We'll style your hair in an appropriate bun. Am I doing something wrong? I feel like the key difference with the bun is that Kiwi Nylon is so slick that even elastics won't stick in. So it's really hard. See how like even the bobby pins won't stick in. I did manage to actually do a high bun on a rainbow high doll on my Skylar doll, but I used a ton of pins and her hair was actually kind of coarser than Chanel's is because she was from a thrift store. So maybe that's the difference. I don't know. I'm just making excuses for my incompetence, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite accessory that she comes with is. I'm actually not sure. I'm actually thinking that it is the houndstooth skirt for me and the bow. I really like the bow. I think she's really cool. All of her pieces are going to be so much fun to mix and match, and this doll is definitely really, really special. And as always, I am wowed by Shadow High. And now that I have all of the girls, if I had to recommend two Shadow High dolls, I think I would recommend... This is difficult because it would be between Chanel and Natasha, but I'm going to go with Chanel because... Mm, actually, Natasha has those fabric boots that I really like, but I think Chanel is overall the more polished doll and I really like all of her accessories a whole lot. Um, so I'm gonna go with Chanel and Nicole. Those are the two that I would recommend. Um, and if not Nicole, if you don't like the look of Nicole, I would recommend Heather over her. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And now that I'm officially done with my Shadow High girl reviews, let me know who your favorite Shadow High character is. And yes, it can be Ash. Well, not really character doll, really, because the characters are pretty wildly different. Uh, but, you know, which doll really speaks to you? I will be getting Ash, don't worry about it. I just focus on the the ladies. They are my preferred um, type of doll in my collection, of course. <laughs> As you can see, I have so, so many. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye! All right, Brett, here's the full lineup. Who's your favorite? Mm. What's her name? The Chanel, yeah, Luna, Heather... <laughs> Um, Nicole, Natasha.
is she wearing that? <laughs> Brett really doesn't like houndstooth. <laughs> I actually like that specific piece though. Like it's, it's not obnoxious. Too. Why is she so much? It's these two the for you? Is it the stand or the shoes? Why is she She's not on her stand. The others, well, and this big bun I put in. Um. So it's these two still? Yes. Those were the ones you said at the beginning mm -hmm. before I even got them, but. Well, no, I feel like you didn't like this one originally, but this was your favorite consistently. Look, they're on the wings wall. They're imposters on the wings wall. Those two, and then her, and then You her, like Luna. And then her last. Really? Yeah, I like her. I love her. Oh, it's okay, Natasha. I do think my favorite's still Nicole, though. But anyway, bye, guys.